What has you turned on? What has you getting up early, hitting it hard all day and staying up late? What has you inspired? Next question, what's got you turned off? When I found the answers to those two questions, my life exploded into change. I finally found out what negative philosophy of life I had allowed to limit me and had me turned off. And I got that cured. Then I found a long enough list of reasons to turn me on. And once the lights went on for me at age 25, they have never gone out. I've fallen out of the sky a few times, but I've never lost that drive to do something unique with my life. Now there's another list of reasons for doing well called nitty gritty. Those hard little reasons that can really affect your life. Sometimes it doesn't take much of a goal to start you in a brand new life direction. I now carry a few hundred dollars in my money clip. It's only a few hundred dollars, but the story behind why I do it reveals one of those reasons that greatly affected me. Just before I met Mr. Schof, I heard a knock at my door one day. When I opened it, there was a little girl selling Girl Scout cookies. And she gave me one of the finest sales presentations I've ever heard. A special deal, several flavors, and only $2. Back when you could get a lot for $2. And with a big smile, she very politely asked me to buy. And I wanted to. Big problem. I didn't have $2. And to this day, I can still clearly remember the pain and the embarrassment. I was a father. I had been to college, I was working, and I didn't have two dollars. Now, since I didn't want to tell her that, I did what I thought was next best. I lied to her. I said, hey, I've already bought lots of Girl Scout cookies. I've still got plenty stacked in the house. Now, that wasn't true, but it seemed to get me off the hook for the moment. She said, that's wonderful, sir. Thank you very much. And she went away. After she had left, I closed the door and that was the day I said, I don't want to live like this anymore. I've had it with being broke and I've had it with lying. I've had it with being embarrassed over not having any money in my pocket. I promised myself that day that this would never happen again. I picked a day and an amount and I said, I'll never carry less. It was one of those reasons that still affects my life after all these years. So I now carry a few hundred dollars in my money clip. I do that for two reasons, I guess. One reason is the way it makes me feel. That special feeling of having plenty. Mr. Shov said to me, the first $500 you earn, put into your pocket, not in the bank. It feels much better in your pocket than it does in the bank. I've found that's true. But I also carry plenty in case I bump into another Girl Scout who's selling cookies. I'm ready. I remember walking out of the bank one day in Northern California where I lived at the time, and there were two little girls selling candy right outside the bank for some girl's organization. The first little girl walked up to me and said, Mister, would you like to buy some candy? I said, I probably would. What kind is it? She said, it's Alman Roca. I said, that's my favorite. She said, wonderful. I asked, how much is it? She said, it's only $2. I thought, it couldn't be still $2 after all these years. I couldn't help remembering the Girl Scout and the cookies. I said, how many boxes of that candy have you got? She said, I've got five. And the other little girl standing there, she was selling candy too. I asked, how many boxes do you have? She said, I've got four. I said, that's nine. I'll take them all. They said, really? I said, yes, I've got some friends, so I'll pass them around. They got so excited, put all this candy together. I reached into my pocket and gave them $18. Now, when I've got the candy and they've got the money, that first little girl looks up and says, Mister, you are really something. How about that? Can you imagine only spending $18?
and having someone look at you in the face and say, you are really something. Now you know why I carry heavy. I'm not going to miss those chances anymore. It was a small goal, just a few hundred dollars, but it had a big effect on my life. I have a dear friend, Robert DePew. Bobby used to be a school teacher in Lindsay, California, the olive capital. After he taught school for several years, he became a little weary of teaching and decided to get into sales. One day, without telling anyone, he quit his teaching job and jumped into sales. When he did, his brother poked fun at him. His brother said, you're going to go right down the drain. You had a good teaching job. Now you're going to lose everything you have. You must be out of your mind. He put him down something fierce. Bobby said the way my brother acted made me so angry, I decided to get rich. Today, Robert happens to be one of my millionaire friends. The attainment of wealth is not just a matter of intelligence. Mostly, it's a matter of inspiration. So if you have strong enough inspiration, a strong enough reason, large or small, it can have an incredible influence on the direction of your life.